hello welcome back to this another uh, tutorial video so uh, if you're just new to this tutorial and you want to follow uh, with this series so uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to uh, stay updated to my new video uh, tutorial and uh, please hit the like subscribe button and share it with your friends if you find this one inform informative so I will uh, I will be encouraged to upload uh, more video like this okay so guys in the previous video uh, we just uh, explore how we can use the constraints layout and how we can use the constraints layout to display our text into our Android phone exactly are uh, the same as what in our editor so in Android studio so now in this uh, video uh, we will just explore uh, the uh, other the other uh, cool things that we can uh, uh, do in our Android Studio. So instead of this uh, hello develop uh, develop uh, text and just a word, so we can just add a design in which it will be more uh, attractive to look. So uh, okay, so as you can see right here, I put a uh, hello develop and in this in the last video, but, but uh, I have also in my notepad that is a uh, tutorial that will help you to uh, uh, get in touch or to uh, what you call this one you can uh, excuse me so you can uh, uh, expand or your uh, knowledge or your okay your knowledge so that's it so uh, but uh, this one is uh, it's also a tutorial that I already uh, uh, write in uh, a long time ago so so as you can see right here Android Gravity Center so then uh, the layout will be uh, into our width and height and pale parent so if you try to see it right here it says match parent so what will be the difference if we are going to change this one to build parent but notice uh, in the previous video uh, we use the constraints layout so we use the constraints layout and then we connect its edges to our uh, match parent uh, window to so, uh, display our text okay entirely uh, the same as what is in the editor so now uh, we will just try another uh, layout this one and layout tags and this one is a linear layout then we will notice what is the difference between using this one and doing the constraints layout so instead of just instead of constraints layout we will just type the linear layout okay uh sorry uh okay linear layout okay why is that oh, linear layout okay so let me just type it again linear layout okay so close it down linear layout so now uh as you can see right here in our uh, editor window uh, it is displaying the same uh, as before but uh, let us uh, okay so right here it says fill parent and fill parent okay so in our uh, design text it's match parent okay so as we know match parent will just uh, okay match exactly the screen size of our window so in our android phone so uh, whenever you want to run it again so let me show you what will happen take note we are using now the the uh, linear layout so this is just to show you uh, how you can use some uh, layout taggings that are uh, pretty fine in our uh, android to use so okay so uh, let me just connect again my device to my Android phone, so okay. So, uh, okay, so we'll just take some time, okay. So, uh, okay, uh, okay, my Android phone, okay, my device, okay. Let me run it again so you can see my window, so in our Android phone, so okay. So, as we can see, we installed this one previously, so. Okay, as you can see now, uh, okay, so let me just uninstall it again. We 
just uninstall it and reinstall it so you will notice what is the difference between linear layout and deconstruct layout and what uh, and how we can use and apply the, those uh, properties or attributes that are in that class so remember when uh, we use deconstruct layout uh, there are uh, attributes that are built exclusively for that uh, constraints layout then uh, uh, there are uh, predefined uh, field or attributes that are already in the constraints layout that you cannot use in the linear layout so uh, okay so let me run it again and let us try to see how uh, this one will look like into our Android phone, phone when using the linear layout so okay. we just want to wait sometimes Okay, it's installing so uh anyway uh, if you uh, in case there are there are situations in which you can you, you will have uh, error in griddle so especially uh, when you are a newbie you will find many uh, difficulties to set up android studio in the very first okay so that will be the most common problem especially when you are beginning you will be having trouble how you can uh, do or make project uh, in offline so uh, one thing I noticed is that in Android Studio uh, most probably when you will generate your file uh, when you first run your your uh, Android Studio it will just update the cradle so that is the important point that you should remember uh, First thing that you will do when we open the Android Studio, uh, just let it update the credo at uh, first time, okay? So once it's, it will successfully update the credo, then you are good to go to make your project and to build your project an FAQ. So now uh, what is happening? The text is not showing, right? Okay, but right here in our editor, uh, we can see our text right here. I remember we use now the uh, the linear layout. Okay, so when using the linear layout, we cannot we can no longer use this one. Uh, this this attribute that in the uh, layout block. So we cannot change this one to. Uh, okay, so instead of uh, match parent. So as you can see, my code right here it tells. Uh, fail parent so we can just copy it. okay so we can just copy this one and paste right there and but we will uh, we will add uh, the other line of codes uh, android gravity uh, that gravity and we want it to be center so and whenever we will run so as you can see right here uh, no android gravity center so okay so let us try to run it again so, and let's as, see so, so as you can see right here layout this should not not be a layout but gravity instead so the layout is for the this one into our uh, main, main main canvas so, but uh, let us try to uh, run it so what it should look so if it will apply this one okay so text view so let us try to view it on my android phone so as you can see nothing is happening so now let's try it again uh, gravity android gravity center and uh, we cannot we can no longer use this one remember because this one's belong to the constraints layout uh, tag so okay we just delete that one okay so we just delete that one then margin to bottom margin top okay this one is uh, in the constraints layout remember uh, this one is these attributes are from the constraints layout so just delete delete that one again then just try to run it again so linear layout as you can see we are now using the linear layout so, okay so as you can see it's center in our editor window then uh, we will try to reinstall it again so you 
can see how it will be look like into our uh, Android screen. So, okay, what happened? My Android screen. Okay. Okay. Just let me show. You. It says it's installing. Let's try it again. Okay. Are you you still follow with my video? So as you can see, my window is not appearing. Okay, my window is not appearing. But in my phone, it's really rendered correctly. So let me try to run it again. What is the... Okay, right here. So as you can see now in my window, uh, you can really uh, see that, that it's really uh, in the center uh, and match the... Uh, editor and this one right there so that is when you are using the linear layout okay so the constraints layout will be uh, a different so remember when using the uh, constraints layout there are uh, different attributes that are also uh, specific for the that you can use only in when using uh, the, the constraints layout so the in linear layout uh, is just change to uh, this one fail parents so and then the, put the gravity center and, and that is that is uh, only what you need uh, uh, for this kind of for this kind of tutorials because we are just putting the uh, hello the before or the, the text only okay so so in the next video maybe we, maybe we'll just uh, add some uh, elements like buttons and uh, maybe uh, in, the in the near uh, future of my video tutorial maybe, maybe we can just explore an, another uh, uh, method or putting some uh, action into our uh, art project so that is now for today guys so I hope you uh, like this video and if you do so don't forget to subscribe to like and share this one so and comment so uh, if you have some uh, problem set up your uh, Android Studio you're having a uh, uh, error of your gradle so that that is the, the most common problem that mostly the beginner will encounter when especially diving into this uh, kind of uh, ide platform so guys uh, see you in my next video and uh, thanks for watching so bye for now